We flew to Rotorua from Wellington and today we fly past Taranga up the Coromandel Peninsula to the large city in New Zealand, Auckland. This is the fifth flight as we take you around the world in your own private jet. Rotate. Gear up. We're flying towards Tauranga, you can see the little hill in the distance there on the ocean, maybe. Uh, but it's a, it's a very popular resort, a beach resort, for people from Auckland. It's it right in front of us. And it's a, the fastest growing city in New Zealand. So a lot of retirees live there because it's very sunny. And it's got pretty good weather, uh, pretty good temperatures. It's a horticulture region, so they grow a lot of kiwi fruit and avocados there. How are you going back there? Is the caviar all good? Yes. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment box below. Thank you. Uh, that there, that's uh, Mount Monganui. And it's uh, Maori Pa. The Maoris are the natives of New Zealand. And uh, there used to be a pa on there. And a pa is a fort. That's another good view of it. A fort. So it's very well protected, obviously, with water on, you know, around almost the, the whole of it. Uh, right below us is Taronga, and so the town over near the border is Mount Manganui, but it's the same town really, Mount Manganui, Taronga, they merge together. In total about 150,000 people. It's a pretty nice day here, uh, just some light scattered clouds in autumn, we're in, it's the 1st of April. It's a nice shot out the front window. That's Matakana Island, it's got forestry on it and uh, pretty good surf actually. There's a great view of Mount Munganui there. Fantastic view. Uh, with Matakana Island being this forested island close to us. It doesn't look like an island, but it's, it's a long island. Uh, with a large estuary in here. Not a, gr not a huge amount of boating on that estuary. Not compared to Auckland or some other places. Obviously population makes a difference. The ship out in the ocean. That's a pretty shot. Nice day to fly to Auckland. Check the controls. 250 knots. Autopilot's on. 5,000 feet going quite low so you can see the scenery. All good. But down below us, that's Waihi Beach, which is a resort town, uh, about an hour from Taronga, the last town by, dri by driving. A lot of Aucklanders again go to it. So in most of these beach towns you find in um, public holidays and in the summertime, they're full of people from Auckland, which has one and a half million people. So most of these beach towns like Waihi Beach and the towering has got more of a resident population, but it gets busy with the people from Auckland. And the Coromandel Peninsula where we're going to, it all becomes quite busy with people from Auckland in the summer and public holidays. Because Auckland's the largest city and it has uh, one and a half million people. So we're coming up to Whangamata, the town in the middle of the screen. It's a beautiful beach town. And like the other towns, it becomes very busy in the in the summer uh, with people from Auckland, Aucklanders. Uh, but it's got really good surf. At the 
there's a river at this side and a river at the other end and at the other end they get um, very good surf. Uh, there's a good river bar break there, right-handers, uh, Fongamata Bar. They go for ages. Um, a lovely town. I can't remember exactly how much the population increases in the summer, but it's something like seven times the normal population or something like that. You'll see on the map there the route we've gone so far and the route to go. Um, up the Coromandel, across over Waiheke Island, uh, out to the west of Auckland Airport, and then into land. This town we're coming up to now is Pawanui, P-A-U-A-N-U-I. It's a beautiful uh, coastal village. Uh, again, like Whangamataa, it just explodes in the summer with people from are all around the North Island, but largely from Auckland. It's, uh, it's got a little grass runway in the middle there, you can see. Um, and then across the river there, there's that another kind of a hill that looks a bit like Mount Manganui, and that's uh, Tairua. And Tairua Beach is quite nice as well. Not quite as good surf, it's just a bit more protected. So we're just turning west now to go over the Coromandel Peninsula. This town in here is called uh, Fitienga. Um, <laughs> You've guessed it, another beach town. They do quite a bit of deep sea fishing from here actually. Quite a quite a few marlin are caught out of Fidianga. Uh, like kind of like like swordfish in a way, but different. You can see some boats going in and out uh, at the moment. The Coromandel Ranges are pretty pretty steep and hard to drive over. Uh, but there are very windy roads through and over them. Not through them, but over them. The town below us is the is the town of Coromandel, the namesake of the Coromandel Peninsula. And it was um, it's quite an old town. It was built for gold mining and cowrie logging. Uh, cowrie, K-A-U-R-I. A very hard, uh, very long growing, very tall and straight trees in New Zealand that are prized for, for building. People don't build out of Kauri now because it's basically too expensive and it's, I think it's protected. So we're not far from Auckland now. Uh, that island in front of us is Waiheke, which is a, it's got a lot of vineyards and a lot of expensive homes. It's a, an island getaway by ferry from Auckland. Right over the top of Waiheke Island now. Can't see any vineyards down there, but but trust me, they're there. <clears throat> the beaches aren't as flash as in Coromandel, they're just not as golden and sandy, of course, but it's uh, it's not as exposed to the, to the surf. Leaving Waiheke Island now and going towards Rangitoto. Rangitoto, R A N G I T O T O. And that's a pretty big volcano, a perfectly round volcano. There it is in front of us, but that's not a great view. Let me just get us a better view. Oh, it's not perfectly round, but it's pretty, it's pretty spherical. Uh, nice ship in the bay there. So that's Rangitoto, that's a volcano that exploded. I think the last time it exploded was only a couple of hundred years ago. So it's a very new volcano. And look how close it is to the city, to the city of Auckland. That's the North Shore of Auckland. I mean, people just think it's not gonna happen again, right? So, so they built a big city right next to it. Um, and here we come into the largest city in New Zealand. And, uh, Obviously, the, the CBD is right in front of us, the Central Business District. Now, yeah, let's, uh, let's hop back in the plane. It's a pretty good view of downtown Auckland. And that's the North Shore across the Auckland Harbour Bridge there. And then out to the east, there's Rangitoto, that volcano and uh, Waiheke Island. And the land you see right in the distance, that's the Coromandel Peninsula that we, threw, uh, that we flew over. 
There's Eden Park down there. The the fortress of New Zealand rugby. The All Blacks basically never lose at uh, at Eden Park. Very famous stadium. Auckland's built all around the water. Uh, we've actually got to start our descent uh, now. A little bit tardy on that. Let's go. So we're going west of Auckland Airport over the um, this is the Manukau Harbour. And we're going to take a pretty, there's the airport over there actually in front of us, uh, front right. We're going to take a pretty hard turn left. The autopilot's gone a bit wonky there, we're going to have to uh, hand fly it in. More throttle. Perfect. Throttle off. Welcome to Auckland. In the next flight, we're flying to the top of the country at Cape Reinga, past some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Uh, that video will be on the top right when it's ready. In the top left is how we got to Rotorua in the first place, from Wellington, past volcanoes. Dream big and stay bold. <laughs>